So for all of those of you who use Jitsi, um, you've got the public uh, Jitsi platform, or you could self-host it. For those who want to share it with folk, and um, often I say to them, you don't need any application. You can just load it and it will run in the browser automatically. Um, this is the application to send, but when you use the application and you send it to them and they open it up on a mobile, it has a page that shoots up that asks you to download the application and at the bottom it shows you the ability to go via the web browser. But often people don't look down to the bottom and then they have an issue with having to install another application. So this uh, video will show you how you get around that, but just to show you if we go in via the, the normal application, it will be meet.jit.si and the room's name is room324 for this example. Let's just go into there. So that's how it will happen on the device. And then of course you, you enter the meeting as per usual. So it will link up to the meeting, the, the normal feature. Okay, I'm not going to connect to it now. Um, I'm going to show you the next link, which has got a section onto it which says hash config.disable deep linking equal true. Now that sounds like it's complicated, but it's, it's a hash that you add to the URL when they're in the mobile device to open it up and still question whether they want to install the app. Okay, so if I do this and send it to the person and they open it up in a normal browser, I'm on a desktop computer here and I press enter you see the exact same thing will happen it will just come to the browser so that doesn't change anything if you look there it's just shifted over into that way but when the person opens it up on a mobile device it's going to react quite a bit different so let me just close those two off and show it to you on the mobile device okay the first one we're going to do is let's see if we get that back on so the first one we're going to do is this one uh, usually you would send this link to folk Okay, and I'm encouraging you to use this one now and add this hash config.deep linking equal true. Just add that part at the end of any of your links. That's going to ensure that when they open up on a mobile, there's no problems with an interface like this. Let me just show you without it. I'm tapping the stop one here. Let's see if we click on there. Okay, it's now asking me whether I want to use the Jitsi Meet application. I have this interface because I have Jitsi Meet running on my system. But if I didn't, I'll only have the browsers as options. So I'm going to select the Chrome browser. And this is what happens. It takes me to this window. And this is the, if I can call it the troublesome window, because folk would read this and see join using the app and say, oh, but I don't want to download another app. My work has already allowed me to put an app on my device. So I don't want to download the app. Some people will do that because using the app will give you a little bit of a better experience. But they often don't look down at the bottom and it says launch in web. And if you click on that, uh, it will take you in. Let me just show it to you if we go and click on that there. And there we go into the meeting. OK, so that's how simple it is. But people don't often look down the page and see that click to use the web. So to avoid people being confused about it and asking you why do I need to install an app, you just modify the link. So that's why I suggest using this modification onto the link that you send. So the first part is exactly the same, your room name, everything is the same. You just add the hash config dot disable deep linking equal true at the end of it and look what happens. You tap on that, there we go straight to the meeting. This is a brilliant tool. Just add that extension. I'll put it in the description. Add that to your links and you'll be able to get people in their mobile devices straight into the browser.